Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to explore two methods for finding the greatest common factor, also called the greatest common divisor. So let's start with answering the question, well, what is the greatest common factor or divisor? We tend to abbreviate that as GCF or GCD, and I want to point out that they're exactly the same thing because factor and divisor mean the same thing. So we're going to use the terms and the abbreviations interchangeably here. All right, so the greatest common factor of two or more whole numbers, A and B, both of which can't be zero, is the greatest whole number that divides both A and B. We often denote this using capital GCF of A comma B, or if we're using divisor GCD of A comma B. There are several methods for finding the GCF of two or more whole numbers. So let's look at the first method. This is called the set intersection method. Here, we define A to be the set of divisors of one number and B to be the set of divisors of another. In this case, let's think about A as the set of divisors of eight and B as the set of divisors of 20. Then A would be all the whole numbers that divide evenly into eight, namely one, two, four, and eight. And B would be all the whole numbers that divide evenly into 20, namely one, two, four, five, 10, and 20. Then we define a new set, C, as the set of all the divisors that are common to both 8 and 20. So C would be the intersection of A and B, and that would be all numbers that are in common, which would be 1, 2, and 4. The largest number in that set is our greatest common divisor, or GCD, of 8 and 20. In this case, Four. So that's one method, the set intersection method. If our numbers got quite large, this method might get quite tedious. For example, listing out all the divisors of, say, 420 might take us quite a long time, so we might want a different method. For that, often we might use the prime factorization method. This one we find the prime factorization of two numbers, let's say 124 and 420. So the prime factorization of 124 is 2 squared times 31, and 420 is 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 7. We then take all the common factors that are shared and multiply them. So. In this case, the GCF of 124 and 420 share the divisors 2 and 2. Therefore, our greatest common factor is 4. All right, guys, that does it for this video on two methods for finding the greatest common factor. There's another method called the Euclidean algorithm, and that will be our next video. To see that, keep on watching. 